Right, I've now had my dinner, so I'm back on uh, Rustling's Road. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to shoot my fourth video because I think they've just finished work on Delilah's replacement down there. Zoom in. Um, oh, they've, they've at least removed some of the root because I've just walked past it, but this is this is the next tree further along <clears throat> and you can see that's the old root there and you can see other bits of root around there's the new tree so obviously they're going to grind all this and then um, I would imagine putting in some topsoil and uh, that tree might actually stand the chance of surviving then alright um, but it does make you wonder why if they're working around the, tr the new tree that's being planted and they're grinding the stump and then obviously they're going to put in some I don't know some compost or substrate or I, who knows what they're going to do um, <clears throat> why they couldn't just work around the root of the tree as it was as it was there it's just <laughs> I can't I can't even speak because I'm that perplexed by it all it's just it's it just it's crazy it, to me it seems it seems like it would have been a whole lot simpler just to take away this soil here around this this big root and then just you know put in a slight ramp to ramp over it as smoothly as you can with tarmac um, I, I can't understand why that is more difficult or more time consuming than what's happening now it really does beg a belief um, I'm kind of stood here <laughs> just in shock um, now as I say now that okay you know those trees have gone so we're not going to get them back so what they're doing will actually give these trees uh, a better chance depending on you know the kind of soil they're putting in there how much of the root they remove um, it's just all very very sad and unnecessary um, and you know that's all, that's all I can say really well, I'm going to leave it there. Bye for now.